A dental abscess is a painful infection. It presents as a pocket of pus. This pus forms inside a tooth, in the gums, or even in the bone supporting the tooth. Bacteria are the root cause of this infection. These harmful microorganisms can enter the tooth or surrounding tissues. This leads to inflammation and the formation of pus. Dental abscesses are not something to ignore. They can cause significant pain and discomfort. In some cases, the infection can spread to other parts of the body. This makes seeking prompt dental care essential for proper diagnosis and treatment. Neglecting a dental abscess can have serious consequences. The infection may spread to the jawbone or even other parts of the head and neck. In severe cases, it can even lead to a life-threatening condition called sepsis. There are three main types of dental abscesses, periapical, periodontal, and gingival. Each type occurs in a different area of the tooth or surrounding tissues. A periapical abscess is the most common type. It starts in the pulp, the soft inner part of the tooth containing nerves and blood vessels. When decay or trauma damages the tooth, bacteria can enter the pulp, leading to infection and abscess formation at the tooth's root tip. A periodontal abscess occurs in the gums. It affects the tissues surrounding and supporting the tooth. This type of abscess is often a complication of gum disease or periodontitis. It forms in the periodontal pockets, the spaces between the gums and teeth. Lastly, a gingival abscess affects the gum tissue itself. It usually develops due to injury or irritation in the gums. Food particles lodged between the gums and teeth can also lead to this type of abscess. It's important to remember that while these abscesses have different origins, they all share a common cause bacterial infection. Dental abscesses don't just appear out of nowhere. One of the primary causes is untreated tooth decay. When we consume sugary foods and drinks, bacteria in our mouth feast on them, producing acids that attack tooth enamel. This acid weakens the enamel, creating cavities that can extend into the dentin and pulp, allowing bacteria to infect the inner tooth. Cracked or chipped teeth also provide an entry point for bacteria. Trauma to the mouth, such as a blow to the jaw, can crack or chip teeth. These cracks and chips can expose the inner layers of the tooth, making it vulnerable to bacterial invasion and subsequent abscess formation. Poor oral hygiene plays a significant role in the development of dental abscesses. When we don't brush and floss regularly, plaque, a sticky film of bacteria, builds up on our teeth. This plaque can harden into tartar, which irritates the gums and creates an environment where bacteria can thrive. Advanced gum disease, also known as periodontitis, is another common cause. This serious infection damages the gums and the supporting tissues and bone that hold teeth in place. As gum disease progresses, pockets form between the gums and teeth, providing spaces for bacteria to accumulate and cause abscesses. By understanding the causes of dental abscesses, we can take proactive steps to prevent them. Recognizing the symptoms. Dental abscesses present several symptoms, some more obvious than others. One of the most prominent symptoms is severe, throbbing pain in the affected tooth or gums. This pain often comes on suddenly and can be persistent, radiating to the jaw, ear, or neck. The intensity of the pain can vary, but tends to worsen when biting or chewing. Along with the pain, you may experience swelling in the face or cheek, indicating inflammation in the area surrounding the abscess. The swelling can be tender to the touch and may make it difficult to open the mouth fully. In some cases, the swelling can extend to the lymph nodes in the neck. Another common symptom is fever, a sign that your body is fighting off the infection. A fever associated with a dental abscess typically comes on gradually and may be accompanied by chills or sweating. Additionally, you may notice a foul taste in your mouth, often described as metallic or bitter. This unpleasant taste results from the pus accumulating within the abscess. The foul taste can linger in the mouth even after brushing or using mouthwash. It's important to remember that not everyone experiences all these symptoms. Diagnosing a dental abscess. Diagnosing a dental abscess typically involves a combination of physical examination and imaging tests. Your dentist will start by asking about your symptoms and medical history, including any previous dental issues. 
During the physical exam, the dentist will visually inspect your teeth and gums, looking for signs of swelling, redness, and tenderness. They may gently tap on your teeth to check for sensitivity, which can indicate inflammation in the pulp. Additionally, they will examine the lymph nodes in your neck to see if they are enlarged. To confirm the diagnosis and determine the extent of the infection, your dentist will likely order dental x-rays. X-rays provide detailed images of your teeth, jawbone, and surrounding tissues, allowing the dentist to visualize the abscess and assess any damage to the tooth or bone. In some cases, a CT scan may be necessary. This imaging technique provides cross-sectional images of the area, offering a more comprehensive view of the infection and its potential spread to adjacent tissues. CT scans are particularly helpful in cases of severe abscesses or when the infection is suspected to have spread beyond the immediate area. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, your dentist can determine the most appropriate treatment plan based on the type, location, and severity of the abscess.